me ask you this. Let me just before I go. Let me ask you this. What What is your response when people ask you what was the prayer? What do you say? Uh, oh that's God, all what? people want to know. Really? You be acting like you don't hear people asking you the damn question. What was the prayer? That's what they want to know. What was it? Because I pray with you many nights. I'm like, I'm you keep that one? You. <laughs> you the, keep point, the point is what you just said, that I prayed many nights. Okay. I think mm. I think that's the biggest thing is like, people always say the prayer. It's not just one prayer. It's multiple okay. prayers. Like, especially, you know, when you're going through a big transition in life. Like for me, as we you know, all know, I was single mom in it. That was something I never envisioned, never imagined. Mm -hmm. And I think at that point, when you're in a time like that in your life, you have to think about like exactly where you are and where you want to go. And so, you but I be... yeah, because I remember you always telling me like you have to envision it, speak it, believe you have it. Have to, you know, because if you don't have a vision for where you're trying to get to, you'll just keep shooting in the dark. You you just mm -hmm. you won't get anywhere. And so I think mm -hmm. that was the biggest thing is like. I knew at that place in my time, at that time in my life, that for me, I had to be intentional. <laughs> Look at Russ. Right. No, I did. I had to be intentional. Well, the funny thing mm -hmm. is, is that everybody asked, you know, what's, what, what the prayer was for Sierra, but nobody really asked me what was the prayer for me. Uh, no, nobody ever, no, you're right. Nobody, okay, okay, bro. What was the yeah. prayer for you? <laughs> so let me tell you all something. I was single, I was doing, you know, hanging out, doing thing, whatever that means. Doing and, what, uh, bro? Doing what thing? <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, 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 listen. That's a, that's, that's, that's a later conversation. Oh, Lord. But anyway, so I'm, I'm, ha I'm hanging out. And I think ultimately, though, you know, for me, I, I never forget, like, <clears throat> being in this space of, like, what do I really want? Like, what am I looking for? You know, and I think, mm -hmm. you know, I, you know, really, I, I, I wanted to be, I, I wanted a relationship, a, a long-lasting relationship. I wanted, I wanted love. I wanted kids. I wanted family. Um. You know, I, I I didn't want perfection. I just wanted I wanted I wanted the perfect thing for me. And so, mm -hmm. anyway, so I I ended up um, <clears throat> writing down my five non-negotiables because really, oh wow, really, marriage is a partnership. It's a business deal in a way, but it's a, it's really a partnership. Mm -hmm. It's it's mm -hmm. like hey, we're gonna do this forever. Like, how are we gonna partner and do this, right? And so. For me, I, I I thought of it that way. I was like, okay, well, when you go into a, a partnership deal or a business type deal, you, you want to think about what, what are your non-negotiables? What are the things that, you know, this is what I want and this is what I have to have and this is what I'm mm -hmm. looking for. So I wrote down my five, non five non-negotiables. And, uh, you know, producer Lala over here getting on the deets. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm, but, how, look, how did I turn into the damn interviewer? <laughs> but uh, the reality is, uh, well, the reality is, uh, hold on one second, hold on one second. The reality is, is that, uh, sorry, I'm just texting here. The reality is, is that for me, for the five non-negotiables was more what, what I had to write down. Uh, I had to write down what those were. I had to have a clear vision of what that was. And so for my five non-negotiables, my first one is I wanted a woman of, of faith. That's yeah. the number one thing I wanted. I wanted and a that woman, was important to her. I wanted, I wanted a woman of, of faith. The second thing is I wanted a woman who was faithful. The third thing I wanted is ultimately I wanted an independent woman. Okay. I wanted a, a person that didn't have to be Sierra. They could be doing whatever, but they had their own identity. They had their own perspective on what they wanted to do mm -hmm. in life and, and how they wanted to impact people. And that was something that I, I noticed from C the first time we met and how she spoke about others. The, mm -hmm. the fourth thing was I wanted a woman who was going to love me the way that my mom loved my dad when he was on his deathbed, oh. you know, and, and how she, my mom took care of my dad no matter what the circumstances were, no matter how hard it got. You know, mm -hmm. our family, you know, to be honest, we went bankrupt at one point and just, it was hard. It was heavy. It was heavy times. And you have to be able to, uh, you know, my dad always knew that we were going to be good, mm -hmm. you know, that we were going to be good. My, 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 my brother, my, my, myself and my sister, that we were going to be okay because my mom was helping lead the way and she had a great perspective. And the fifth thing was <clears throat> ultimately I wonder woman who was going to tilt the room, right? And you walk in the room. You know, if she, walk, if she walks in the room, she, the whole furniture just slides to her. Okay. You know? And so <laughs> those five things, I, five, my five non-negotiables were one woman of faith. The second thing was one woman who was faithful. The third thing was one woman who was independent. The fourth thing was I wanted a woman who, you know, uh, you know, who loved me the way that my mom loved my dad. And the fifth thing was, you know, ultimately is I wanted a woman who would tilt the room. Tilt the and room. I wasn't going to settle for three out of the five or four out of the five. We were going to go five for five, and that was <laughs> and it. And you got it. And we got, we, got, we got five for five plus some more. Uh, you got it. 
Yeah, you so got it. That was that was really uh, what we were. Are you crying? Yes, I am. Sorry, because I'm hormonal too. But I mean, I guess. <laughs> it is um, sweet, yeah. but it's so nice to hear it all over again.